Hey guys, Venki here. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Disclaimer, all the materials and example used in this video is only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Today I'm going to explain you about LFA vulnerability which is nothing but local file inclusion attack. Uh, also I'm going to uh, show you how we can defend these attacks. So what is LFA vulnerability? It is a web-based vulnerability in which attacker or hacker can put a file in the place of other file at runtime. By this, attacker finds a method of exploitation by accessing locally present files on the web application server. So in this slide, we can see an attacker trying to access the web application and trying to inject a payload in the web URL parameter uh, so that payload is nothing but a locally present file on the web application server. Whenever URL get executed successfully, the server will respond that file back to the web browser. So in this example, attacker is trying to access a password file from the Linux environment and server will present the file back to the browser. Likewise, an attacker can inject any payload which can be executed on the server by accessing its own local file. Uh, so there are plenty of local files which can be exploited by an hacker. Let's see this LFA attack in action. I have already set up a web application which can be used for this example. This application is running on a remote server. IP address is 192.168.1.135. So I'm going to attack this um, web application server, which is going to be our target machine. And I'm going to use a Kali Linux virtual machine uh, for this attack. That is going to be a attacker machine, which is running on IP address 192.168.1.178. Before of doing anything, I need to know more about that target machine, uh, which is hosting web application. So let's use the Nmap scanner to do a reconnaissance. Nmap scanning started. It will take a while to pull out all the information about the server. Meanwhile, let's go back to web application and browse through uh, to see whether we can see any web pages um, which is vulnerable for LFA attack. It is very easy to identify whether the web application is vulnerable to LFA attack. Just browse through the web application and um, monitor the URL by any chance if they are passing a file name in the URL parameter possibly that web application is vulnerable for LFA attack. So in this example we could see whenever we select a language from the drop down it is passing a different language PHP file as a URL parameter which means web browser is instructing web application server to execute this language file which is locally present on the server. Just to validate this LFA attack, we can try to access some generic file which is present on the application server. Uh, many web application will have robot.txt file which is used for search engine traveling. So when we replace that language.php file with robot.txt, we are able to see the content of the robot.txt file, which means this web application is vulnerable to LFA attack. Likewise, we are able to inject PHP info file in the URL parameter and able to see the response from the application server. This clearly proves that an attacker is able to access any file which is locally present on the application server. PHP info file always uh, contains some um, sensitive information which will be useful for, for an attacker. We could see from the PHP info page, um, application server is running on Ubuntu OS. Meanwhile, our previous Nmap scanning also got completed which shows us the web application server is vulnerable to anonymous FTP login as well as we could see uh, the same OS information Linux Ubuntu is captured. As it helped to identify web application server is running on Ubuntu uh, Linux environment, we can try to access password file as well as shadow file to gain access to the server. Generally, most of the web application will be hosted on the Linux environment under www directory. 
so we need to identify the directory mappings from www directory to uh, etc directory where we can access password plus shadow file so here we already identify the directory mapping to etc folder let's use this as a url parameter and try to access password file plus shadow file and see whether it is working or not I'm replacing language uh, PHP file with this um, ATC folder. Oops, we got error because we are trying to access the folder instead of a file. Now try to pass the password file name along with that uh, URL parameter and see whether we are able to see the content of password file from the web application server. Bingo. We got the complete password file content from the web application server just by accessing from the URL. This is how an attacker perform LFI attack against a web application. Let us copy paste this information in a file so that we can use it um, uh, later. I'm creating a new uh, password file in the Kali Linux machine and pasted all the content from the web browser where we can see uh, password file contains all the user information. Similarly, try to access shadow file uh, from the web browser. Shadow file mainly contains the password, encrypted password. Perfect, we are able to access shadow file using LFA attack. So let us copy paste this uh, password information into a shadow file in the call Linux machine. Now, by performing LFA attack, we got password file plus shadow file from the web application server. From the password file, we noticed that root user is exist in the web application server, but the password is encrypted. Let's give a try with root user. Try to log in into the remote web application server by guessing uh, some passwords. So I'm trying with um, some random password. Um, it's keep on failing. So we left over with no other option. We need to use shadow file to decrypt and identify root user password i'm going to use join the ripper tool to crack password for this uh, root user if you want to learn more about join the ripper tool watch this video i'm using unshadow command here this unshadow command will merge password file plus shadow file together so that it can be used as a input for join the ripper tool we could see outcome is stored in hacked password.txt file the content is very simple which contains the user information plus encrypted password in the same file now it's time to use john the ripper tool the syntax is very simple just type john and then pause the hacked password.txt file as a input and this tool will take a while to crack password after waiting for a while here we go we got password cracked for root user as well as we could see passwords for other users. Now let's try to access the web application server using this root username and the bug as the password. That's all, we hacked into the web application server. Now this web application server is under attack. By performing this LFA vulnerability, this server came into hacker control. Now hacker can do anything because he got root permission, he can bring down the server, he can bring down the application, he can install new thing, he can steal the data, he can perform anything. So how we can stop this kind of LFA attack? It is all in the hand of web developer. Instead of using a file path directly as a parameter, they can create an ID for the file and that can be used. Next option is uh, a web developer can create a whitelist of all the files uh, which can be accepted uh, so that any other files or path can be ignored directly. That's all guys. Hope this demonstration helps. Please like, share and comment my videos. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you again.